I'm Dr. Andima Moses. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Chemistry. Busitema University is a science-based university uh, that was established to address the needs of um, the communities. And that's the reason why it was set up basically in a community setting. And so we quickly identify the problems that the communities uh, face. Food production is affected because many uh, people in the communities cannot af afford uh, synthetic fertilizers. Uh, in most cases, they basically uh, grow their crops in the natural way. But then, uh, because of uh, uh, clim uh, climate change, uh, the number of uh, diseases that affect crops, and this affects uh, the yield. Globally, uh, feeding people is difficult because uh, food production has, is, is affected by a number of factors. For example, for the case of uh, Uganda, most of the food is contaminated by mycotoxins. But of importance to uh, our research was uh, contamination of food uh, by mycotoxins. Uh, but in addition to this, also uh, uh, um, infection of uh, crop plants by other pathogenic uh, organisms, particularly fungi. So if our food is contaminated by mycotoxins, it's definitely not palatable for eating. And what we know is that the mycotoxins are known to be toxic and they can cause cancer. Um, a recent study already shows that, uh, for example, uh, between 10 to 20% uh, of maize uh, grown in Uganda is already infected by, for example, mycotoxins. You can notice that recently there was um, there were media reports that indicated that uh, Ugandan uh, maize, for example, was rejected by Kenya because it was contaminated by mycotoxins. And so in particular, now this particular project is um, uh, developing a product that can be used for uh, agricultural application. Uh, in this case, we have a trichoderma-based uh, biofertilizer uh, which we are developing uh, for management of uh, aflatoxins uh, in the garden. And so with the initial funding from uh, uh, the Directorate of Research and uh, Graduate Training in Busitama University, we received funding to uh, study the, the uh, diversity of trichoderma. So trichoderma is basically a fungus that a parasitizes on um, uh, other pathogenic fungi. We thought it's a good way to uh, support the community to develop sustainable um, biofertilizer uh, using natural organisms that are actually found in the soil. And some of these natural organisms are also found in the, uh, in the plants. So this particular trichoderma is, is found in the soils and it's also found in the plants and therefore it's actually an endophyte. And so since uh, it helps the plant uh, to fight biotic and abiotic stress, then it is a, a useful biofertilizer uh, that can actually help. We collected uh, soil samples from the districts of Serere, from uh, Kapchora, uh, from uh, Mudat, uh, from uh, Aquen districts. And we use this as a substrate to isolate a trichoderma. And so these trichoderma isolates, we already characterized them uh, nicely. After doing uh, this molecular characterization, so we selected, uh, for example, the superior strains that we eventually used to uh, develop uh, one of the uh, prototypes that can actually now undergo a field trial. Yeah, so our formulation is quite novel, uh, novel in the sense that um, we basically use a plant-derived um, surfactants. So these plant-derived surfactants have no effect on the plants, first of all, uh, other than using a synthetic, uh, for example, synthetic surfactants and synthetic pesticides, which would cause uh, some effects on 
uh, the crop plants and also uh, the, uh, the, the normal uh, microbiome. So uh, the plant surfactants, uh, they're friendly to the plants. So in this case, it makes our formulation a bit superior. It also has the ability to uh, help the plant to grow well. And how it does this is uh, it stimulates the plants uh, to absorb nutrients. So if the plant is able to absorb nutrients because it promotes root growth easily, and then also it helps the plant basically to metabolize these nutrients very well. Uh, so it makes it superior. When you add it to water, it forms a stable emulsion uh, that enables you to spray it on the plant. And basically it forms a very stable emulsion. So in this case, you have your recommended uh, quantity uh, that you can be able to, uh, for example, uh, emulsify uh, in water. So when you put this in water, then it forms a very stable uh, emulsion. So this stable emulsion can actually be sprayed on uh, the plant. And what it does is that uh, it uh, reduces the surface tension uh, because we have a plant-based uh, surfactant. It reduces the surface tension and then causes uh, the microorganisms to stick well on the leaf surface.